Hey what's up guys Z here, so this is going to be my review on the Leo File Zero Bluetooth earphones. These are earphones with ANC, also known as Active Noise Cancellation, and it uses Qualcomm's CVC 6.0 noise cancelling technology. So the way ANC works is by emitting its own frequencies to cancel out the incoming ambient frequencies. So for example, if you were to hear lots of ambient noise all around you, the ANC would essentially cancel it out. Though I did find that with the ANC on the Leo File Zeros, it mostly cancels out fan noise. So these earphones also have a dedicated audio cable in case you wanted a direct connection to your device, assuming of course your device has a headphone jack. So the audio cable is a micro USB to 3.5mm plug. This is very useful if the earphones run out of battery and you still want to use these earphones to listen to music. So besides for the 12 hours of battery life that these earphones give you, you also have the option of using them with the included wire. Another cool feature is you can pair these Leophile Zeros with up to two devices wirelessly at the same time. So as far as the design goes, there's a plastic band coated in faux leather. On the right side, there's the battery with the Audiophile branding text printed onto it. And on the left side is the remote. So on the remote, you have a total of three buttons and you also have an on and off switch to toggle the ANC on or off. Now, one thing I did want to mention about ANC is that if you by chance left it toggled on, then that would essentially drain out your battery since there is no standby mode for that. So it doesn't automatically turn off. You would actually have to toggle that off. There's also the micro USB charging port that's also an audio input port which I spoke about earlier. So the three buttons on the remote are the volume up down buttons and the third button in the middle is the pair on off button which can also play pause your music and activate Siri and the buttons are fully compatible with iOS. Now on the other side of the remote there's a microphone and for those wondering here's what that microphone sounds like when used wirelessly and with the wire. So this is what the microphone sounds like on the Leo File Zero earphones. I'm currently paired via Bluetooth with my iPhone 6, recording using the Voice Memo app. What the microphone sounds like with a wired connection to my iPhone 6. And I'm also recording this using the Voice Memo app on my iPhone 6. So that was a sample of what the microphone sounded like wirelessly and what they sounded like using the wire. So with a wire, you do get better microphone quality, as you heard. But still, using these wirelessly, the microphone sounded very decent, considering the fact that Bluetooth microphones are generally terrible, for now at least. So on the remote, there is also two LED indicator lights, one located underneath the ANC button. So when turned on, it shines blue. And the other LED indicator is located right beside the microphone on the side, along with the printed text of regulations and certifications. So the battery on these must be very large because the advertising music playback is 20 hours with 500 hours of standby and also for those wondering charging time is two hours and again you can pair these earphones with up to two devices but you can't have music playing on them from both paired devices at the same time the earphones also feature a vibration motor inside of the earphones that vibrates when you get a phone call this is definitely a first that i've ever seen on a pair of bluetooth earphones also for my testing the remote is fully compatible with my iphone 6. Now coming up from both sides of the remote are the earphone wires. Unfortunately though, the wires do look and feel relatively thin. Above that there are the earphone stems which are made out of silicone and then moving up to the shells, they're made out of plastic and metal. So there's metal in the back and plastic in the front. If you look closely, there are also some vents that you'll find in the back, here and here, and the sound chambers have a fabric grill. The driver unit size in these is a 13 millimeter driver, so that's relatively large compared to some of the other Bluetooth earphones that I've reviewed in the past. I'm referring to the in-ears that I've reviewed, of course. The earphones do look stylish and feel nice overall. So the fit on these is also pretty decent. They come with three sizes of ear tips, large, medium, and small. The large ear tips are a bit extra large, but that works out perfectly for me since I do have larger than average ear canals. They're also relatively comfortable, so I can wear them for long periods of time. Unfortunately though, the earphones don't really stay in my ears. The sound quality is good, bass sounds nice and booming as long as you use a good pair of ear tips, so definitely recommend using a good pair of ear tips for these. Video playback is on point, there's no video delay with the audio that you do find on some of the cheaper Bluetooth earphones. And now for the cons, so these aren't a good pair of earphones for jogging since they do bounce quite a bit on your chest and the neckband is plastic so it does start to hurt after a short while. Also these earphones aren't sweat or water resistant. So that really is a bummer. And also they are a bit pricey, but worth it if you require long battery life for longer wireless use. 
And lastly, as I mentioned before, the wires are on the thinner side, so they are really thin. Well guys, that's pretty much it for my review on the Leo File Zero Bluetooth earphones. Hopefully you did find this review helpful. If you did, please do leave a like. Now, if you guys did have a pair of Bluetooth earphones in mind that you wanted me to review, let me know in the comments section below and I'll try to make it happen. So anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.